Welcome back to more My Little Pony, a Maritime Bay Adventure, everybody. So in the last episode, we uh, actually made it pretty far into the game. And we're pretty close to finishing it, I believe. It should be the finale. Uh, whoops, we actually missed one. Let's grab it. There we go. Yeah, so we just got to finish exploring this section right here. Which there, you know, shouldn't be too much left. We actually have the majority of these because uh, there's, yeah, 1936 magic bits. So we are actually doing pretty well. Anyway, let's see. I'm going to go this way. Can I? Oh, I, I can. I can knock this down. I think that makes like a shortcut or something. No, actually, I might unlock a new place. Hold on, though. Hold on. Okay, it's actually pointing that way, so I'm not going to go quite there yet. I actually want to check out this. Okay, so you know, it is do the same thing. Okay. It's kind of what I figured. Alright, so we are good there. What? Okay, that was weird. That's a weird invisible wall right there. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna head this way. Gonna hit that thing right there, okay. And then run back. I like how elegantly she, like, walks on those, you know, giant, like, you know, tree, tree bits, tree pieces. We are at... 464. Okay, let's see what you got. Welcome to the final race. Blah blah blah. You won't be able to beat me anyway. But as long as you don't fall into the ocean, you'll pass the test. Are you ready, Sunny? You bet. Saddle up then. Okay, move aside to dodge the obstacles with a stick. Sounds easy enough. What's next? Catch the rings as you and you'll speed up. That's it. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I see. Okay, you can actually use the. Uh, okay, I see. There's basically three layers, and you can use the pad on this. So that's kind of cool, actually. Oh, shoot. So, okay, so I got most of them. I missed three rings. Okay, dodge those. Yeah, it should be fine. I mean, I don't think you need to get a perfect score to get, you know, the highest like reward I'm pretty sure I'm good as long as I just get pretty much all of them now there we go how much more is there all right then here we gotta make a sharp one it's a little tight Dude, how much more is there? Seriously. I actually thought I was going to finish around a thousand, but I guess that's not the case. There we go. We got 1670. Let's see what the what you need for the highest. You need only a thousand. That's really easy. Wow. Okay. And we got 75 stars for doing that. Which I, I don't think that actually gets us to 100% though for this particular level. I think we're still missing some for this final level here. Oh, I don't know. There could be another level after this. I'm, I'm not actually sure to be honest. So we will see. This is really fun! Right? I mean, yeah. Well done. You earned your wings. Congratulations! In the name of the royal family! Seth! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh yes! Wait a second, who's that? Pony overboard! That's my cue to go. Zip, are you okay? <sighs> I've been better. Magic failed for some reason. Pegasi shouldn't even be in Maritime Bay. I'm sure a unicorn did it. They're dangerous. <laughs> Everything is going according to plan. Sprout, is that you? No. It's not me. Ah! He's going back to Main Street. Ah! A 
catch him. Who would have guessed, right? I mean, it seemed kind of obvious in some ways. It really did, though. I guess we gotta go catch him. He's right over here. There he went! I need to disperse the crowd somehow. If I could just call their attention all at once, I need to find higher ground. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get that higher ground by going that way. So, I think we have to run all the way around like this in order to do this. Shoot. I just hit my freaking body on the wall there. Okay, let me go here like this. And here we go. Magic back. Can't give up now. I need to chase Sprout. All right, so with that, we're now at 413. We're at 1783 total. Okay, so chasing Sprout, I believe that means we need to go up this way. That's going to be my guess. Um, I guess I should be putting on my skates, huh? That'd be better. Hey, Sonny. Sprout has gone into the old Candor Logic factory. We have to chase him out. But every pony in town hates us now. Why matter? It's all a mistake. We are all friends. We just have to catch Sprout, and he'll explain it to every pony. But we can't fly in without magic. It was nice being here for a while, but we should probably go back to Zephyr Heights with Mom. A place where ponies don't hate us. This is not right. We need to fix this. We have to do something, but how can we get past the gate? I'll look around. There might be something. Awesome! Okay, well let's see. Some of these flowers spawn here. Oh, there we go. That's what these are for. There's two switches we gotta hit. So that's one. And see, that's the way you actually couldn't do this before. 100%ing it because there's actually more stuff still here, like that will net us, you know, more of these. Hey, look at this. That's some more right there. Now we are at 1791 in total. Wow. Okay. So we just go here. Ah, there we go. If I took this ramp really fast, the rollerblades. All right, jump with this button to dodge the traps if you can. Okay. That's it? Okay, it looks like that. Is this a new... Oh, no. Oh, it's just... Uh, okay, I see. So you just jump over them. Can you move left or right here? No, you can't. All, you, all you're doing is jumping. This actually seems ex extremely easy then. Wow, that was actually very close. So some of them are actually kind of like weirdly placed. The bodies will slow him down, but watch out yourself. Okay, 
Oh, I see. Oh, they, they, they jump. They jump. So you're just going to have to know where... Yeah, so like that one you got to jump. Just going to jump. Okay. Shit. I didn't mean to do that. Oof, those are close. Okay, that one's going to... Okay, got to jump. That one's going to jump. And the little hoof things are actually for getting points. Oh my god, dude. There's so much. That's actually very tight. We will distract him, Sonny. Catch him! Magic or not, we couldn't leave our friends behind. Okay, that one we jump. That one we jump. That one we stay down. Now we jump, we stay down, jump double on that one, stay down, stay down, jump up. We're getting there. Yeah, we're actually doing really well and not getting hit now, because like now I know the actual pattern. Yeah, see? You just have to know the timing of like when these bunnies are actually coming. That's it. We need 1100, so we did get the max score for that. Another 75 done. Okay, and that should uh, pretty much wrap it up, right? We're pretty close to wrapping up the game here. Some changes are great, like a little touch of makeup or glitter, or like making a new friend. I guess I was being a little overdramatic, wasn't I? <laughs> so, you're not mad at me? Buddy, as long as peace is back in Maritime Bay. We'll all be friends. And friendship is still magic. Hey, Sprout, I have an idea that could cheer you up. No, 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 no. Let's dance! And that completes the game. Pretty much, so now we are in the credits, and as you saw, published by Outright Games. Yeah, Outright Games, like I was saying, they're known for publishing a lot of video games for the Switch that are based off of, um, usually like movies or TV shows. So I mentioned the Paw Patrol game, there's actually three Paw Patrol games. There's Paw Patrol on a Roll, which was the first one that came out from the three. Then there's Paw Patrol, oh, what was that one? It's like something about Save Adventure Bay. And there's Paw Patrol, the, the, oh my god, I can't even think right now, the, the, the Rescue Something. Wow, that one was the most recent one. But, they've made other ones, all like, for example, they made, um, I believe they published the Addams Family, Mansion Mayhem, which I want to actually cover on the channel. They published a Hotel Transylvania game, there's two of them, actually, for the Switch. They published, I think they published, um... I'm trying to think here, but they ended up public. Well, obviously, this game, right? That's another one. Sure, I, that's the list. My Little Pony. Uh, they published, I think it was the Troll Hunters game, and then they also published the uh, um, DreamWorks Spirit, and then DreamWorks How to Train Your Dragon, I think. Games which I have not covered, but I also you do. You can continue exploring Maritime Bay, 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 Bay all you want. Enjoy the mini games again and collect the missing magic bits. Um, okay, I mean that's like that's pretty hard, you know, um, to collect all that stuff. Definitely, but how do I know? Crystal Bright has three seventeen. Wait, where am I? Am I like way back in the beginning or something? So I guess the big question is, how would you even go about like? Completing the mini games again, you know. Play. It is a little hard to know which ones you've like missed. Like for example, looking at this here, 1866 out of 1936. That's what 100 minus 30. I've missed 70, 
which I think are just the two from the mini games. I'm pretty sure. Uh, the two mini games, it's, it was those like rounding up, you know, a bunch of like the little animals and putting them into the fences, which was actually kind of, kind of, I should say, difficult. Out of all the games, that those were the hardest ones, I think. It wasn't particularly easy, you know, to get through those, but yeah, I don't know. There's that over there. I think I may have been towards the right side. I can give another shot, but I don't know if I'm really going to you know, be able to do much better. I'm only trying it again because I actually have a lot of spare time in this video. You know, so I guess I can Back try. Are you ready? Sign me up. But it wasn't particularly easy from what I remember, so... Two, one, go! Yeah, okay, and I know how to do this. Move around with the stick. Heard the bunnies enter the goal to increase the score. Got it, got it. Yeah, see, like, okay, oh, that was a good start right there. And then you went, oh no, see, that's the problem, because if you end up leaving, like, a straggler behind, then it creates, dude, okay, see, that's what I'm talking about, because you have to be perfect with this, because, like, I already ruined it, I'm pretty sure. Like, you cannot waste that much time, you know, for just to get, like, one or two. You need to be able to get them, like, all within, I would say, within two rounds. Because if you don't, like, that was a good one right there, see? If you if you don't get them within two whole rounds, I, I don't think you'll actually be able to get the score that you need. Like, I think it just becomes that. Yeah, see, like, right there, I messed up again. Because now... Oh, no, we'll see. I'll give it a shot. I'm doing my absolute best just to see, you know, how difficult it actually can be, you know? Do those things give you plus time? To, oh, god damn it. See what I'm talking about? It's hard. It's really hard because you can easily lose them. And I don't think there's a good indicator for, like, what actually, you know, like, makes you lose them or not. Like, I know that if you run over their pits, then you will actually lose them. Um, oh my god. Oh my god, it just happened again. See how crazy it is? It's pretty tricky. It actually is pretty tricky to do this. And like, unless I'm actually missing out on a really good strategy, you know, I don't actually know. I'm just going to put those right there because it's kind of hard to get these last couple ones. Oh, see, I just ruined that. That one was actually completely my fault right there. I, I just ran right on top of the hole, which I was specifically saying not to do. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. There's just like no way. Because I think you need like, what was it like 700 something? I think it was like 700 something. God dang it. I got only 655. That's not good enough. But like the funny that yes, you need 700. Oh my god, that is ridiculous. That is actually really hard to get, especially the this is the easier of the two. The other one is the one that's really hard because you don't have to take them through separate like you know areas. Which, wow. But um, I guess I'll show you this really quick in case you're curious. This one you need 1872, and this one you need 1936, which is the wings. So that's kind of cool, but. I've pretty much shown off enough of the game, you know, but it's cool that you can get all these things and just kind of customize your, you know, your pony. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Okay, and that's it for that. So I guess the very last thing that I can show you is if you go back into, if you go to exit, basically, you go back to the main menu, Mini games appear here appears here now, and you can actually again do these um, whenever you want. This is Hitch's bunny hurting hurting training. Cool. That's uh, two two crowns. Pip pip dance parade. I did all three, and then crabs and bunnies this time. That's two out of three. The flight that was three out of three, and then the rollerblading chase three out of three. So 
They did pretty good. The only thing I did not get to 100% was these hurting ones, but again, they were pretty ridiculously hard, so whatever. Other than that, though, that's pretty much it for the game. There's not really much else to, uh, you know, to talk about. It's a fun game. It's a very short one for sure. And, you know, this game will probably cost you about, if you get it like retail, it's like actually 40 bucks. Which most people would say it's not worth the price, which I would agree. But I think if you get it digitally, usually there's some pretty good sales. If you can find this for like 20 bucks, I'd say sure, you know, it, it might be nice. But it's overall not a long game, so it's not really worth anything, anything more than 20. Definitely not. But anyway... Uh, before this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.